This case, this case, it is unique in the annals of crime. You will recall that it was a cold morning early in the year when I last left Baker Street. Good afternoon everyone, here I am in Clapham Common, London and uh, I've come to find the, uh, the plaque to commemorate Guess who? Elementary my dear Watson! Yes! Jeremy Brett Sherlock Holmes God he was so good in that part wasn't he? Yeah, I mean most people think he was the best Sherlock don't they? They really do and I loved the series when it was on I still watch it now, it's, it's timeless but um, it wasn't actually called uh, Jeremy Brett, his real name was Peter Jeremy William Huggins but unfortunately his father didn't think that uh, the acting profession was good enough shame that isn't it because you know he's so great he was such a great actor and here I am look I'm going to show you where I am Clapham Common it's lovely and on one of these benches near the bandstand there we've got the plaque but I don't know which yet but all will be revealed Jeremy was born on the 3rd of November 1933 but unfortunately he died quite young on the 12th of September 1995. He had uh, damaged heart valves from rheumatic fever that twisted the valves and it, uh, along with smoking and things like that uh, I think they called contributed to his early death which is a shame. Jeremy was married twice the first time was on the 24th of May 1958 and he married another well-known actress called Anna Massey they had a son called David in 1959, but unfortunately they divorced on the 22nd of November 1962. She claimed that he'd left her for another man, but that's only what she claimed. It was not uh, categorically proven. Sherlock would not approve of that. In 1976, he married uh, Joan Sullivan Wilson, um, and she was with him till the end. She died, unfortunately, in 1985 of cancer. So that is quite a shame, really, but... They did stick together to the very end. Here's the mantle of him. He is a dark, recluse, internal creature. And you can only show him through cracks in the marble, glimmers. Yes. You can't, he's totally internal. And I find that's very hard to sustain. I mean, it's much more fun to be able to say, well done, well done, Holmes. Gosh, that was wonderful, excellent. Yeah. Because he's got that wonderful kind of enthusiasm. Yeah. Holmes is quite cool yes, he is. and dismissive and abrupt. And that's hard to sustain on a daily basis. Yeah. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes by Granada TV ran from 1984 to 1994. And uh, I think most people think he's the best Sherlock ever. But of course, that's down to taste. I mean... Basil Rathbone was one of the first ones wanting the Hound of the Baskervilles. But um, yeah, it was so good was Jeremy Brett in the park, you know. Ha! He used to have that edginess and jump, didn't he? And the, when the intellect suddenly homed in on something. And then he shouted, Watson! <laughs> he was great. Of course, his arch enemy Moriarty may not approve of this film, but that's not our problem, is it? <laughs> It's the commercial break. Nah, I'm only kidding. No, I just want to tell you quickly about my new channel. It's called Your Parking Films. That's exactly what it is. If you stay somewhere nice in a motor or my camper van, send the film clips in, tell me where it is, be in it, have fun, that's what it's all about. We'll build a great network of films up. Then if you're going somewhere, you can see exactly where you're going to stay. That's it. Back to the film and thank you. Jeremy Brett studied at Eton and Central School of Speech and Drama before making his professional and acting debut in 1954 with the Library Theatre in Manchester, later joining the Old Vic Company in London. With his dashing good looks and his elegant humour, Brett was frequently cast in period or classic roles, both on the stage and television. His highest profile film appearance was as Freddie Ainsforth Hill in My Fair Lady 1964 with Audrey Hepburn, Brett sang very well. His most famous role was Sherlock Holmes, his thrilling theatrical and dynamic performance built from the smallest gesture and verbal inflection to the unexpected leaps over the furniture. Brilliantly brought Canon Doyle's mercurial consulting detective to life. Blessed with two exceptional performers as Dr Watson, first David Burke and later Edward Hardwick, 
Brett's interpretation defined the role for a generation. Brett was sadly dogged by ill health in his final years. He died in London of a heart attack on the 12th of September 1995. I found it, I found it. I, I went by the clues like Sherlock could do. I used my intellect. I asked somebody in the cafe over there. <laughs> there we are, look, we've got a little, little cafe there. There we are. Yeah, because you've got benches everywhere, but we found it. I haven't seen it, so we're going to move in now. Here we go. Here we are. Here's the bench. Ah, very nice. Let's have a look. Okay, it says this bench and nearby tree stands in honour of the legendary actor Jeremy Brett. 1933 to 1995. His love, laughter and immense courage in the face of adversity inspires us all. Jeremy, you were absolutely amazing as Sherlock and uh, a serious actor to boot. Yeah, it's very really nice that. And, but, I think we've got, possibly, a stalker in the distance who's roaming around, a fanatic of, of uh, Sherlock Holmes. Moving in. Is it Moriarty? No, it's not. It's Watson! Watson! This is Watson! There we go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. We love Jeremy. We love so much. He has, he He's had, fantastic. He's the best Sherlock Holmes. He had the, uh, he had the edginess and the intellect, didn't he? He has a talent. He has... Um, he's uh, extremely... He's very very different from poor dr watson he looked quite dumb compared to him didn't he <laughs> hey yeah yeah, yeah. no and there's the bench look there yeah. the tree that's mentioned i'm pretty sure it's this one which has unfortunately died uh and it was planted i'm not totally sure but it's the nearest one to the bench look and there it is it's actually died um there we go there's another little tree planting out of it now but yeah very very weak look shaking yeah um, it may not be that one but it's the closest one to the bench so it probably is and we're going on now to find 221B Baker Street the home of Sherlock Holmes and uh, Jeremy did live here as well near the Clapham, near Clapham Common it was Clapham Terrace or something like that I'll put it on screen I'm not sure at the moment there it is look the plaques on the wall look there can you see it there we are. That's it. That's it. Oh, wow. That's That's it. Beautiful. Let's see them. What the same. We can't stop. So here we are outside Sherlock Holmes' home, 221B Baker Street. And I'm going to spin it round so you can have a little look now. They're all going in the shop there, look. It's the uh, museum. Books, antiques, curios. But let's spin round and have a little look. There we are, people are coming out. It's a very busy spot, you can see. In fact, they're queuing up there to go inside. Yeah, I've just realised. Let's uh, have a little look there. There we are. Have a look. Constituting Detective, 1881 to 1904. Very good. This is inside the uh, <coughs> souvenirs. Oh, great! Look at that. Fantastic. Yeah, I've got the hats and the watches and the bowlers. Yeah, it's great. Oh, there is Jeremy. Look over here. Wow, we've got Jeremy. There we are. Jeremy Brett. So that's it folks from today for Motor on Beep Beep Me Alan. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and uh, comments, you know I and love... Mirena. Yeah, I'm Rena. We love the comments on the channel and of course uh, subscribe if you like the content because there's plenty more coming. So from the heart of London, goodbye from me Bye. and goodbye Bye. from her. See ya, bye. bye.